Hi Taurus. This is going to be your mid-November reading. This will be for, for all Tauruses. Thinking of somebody, currently with somebody, um, but definitely about somebody that you have in mind. This will be your love and sex reading for mid-November. <clears throat> check your sun, check your rising moon and Venus signs if this doesn't resonate with you. Remember also that the energies can switch and reverse. So if you don't resonate with one side, it could be them. Here we go. So, in the crux of the reading, we have the four of wands reversed. So, this is about a partnership, and it may be, you know, at a point where it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. It doesn't, like it's not working out, right? Or it's ended. There is no partnership happening here. Why? Because you've got the page of wands crossing it. This is somebody who is wanting a new, uh, like a new adventure, right? They want to go off and explore. But when it's reversed, it's almost like they want to explore other things. Um, they want to just sort of go their own way and just not, they're not following the right path though, okay? So you may be dealing with somebody who, um, you know, may have ended things or you may have ended things with them or a partnership isn't happening because they're just not, they don't know what the fuck they're doing, basically. They're just sort of like, aimlessly wandering with no direction no ambition and they don't see they're not actively you know they're not proactive about things with this relationship right they haven't really come across as somebody who is sorry i'm drinking water um somebody who's on the right path with it they're not a take action kind of person and if they are a take action kind of person they're definitely not doing what you want them to do in their energy, we have the Nine of Cups reversed. Their current situation, you know, they may not be getting much fulfillment or happiness out of it. This is the Wish Fulfillment card, but it's reversed. So they're not getting their wish, okay? Whatever's happening right now, it is not what they wanted. Why? Because the Page of Pentacles is crossing it and it's reversed. They were looking for some sort of offer. Maybe they wanted to give you an offer, but they didn't. <clears throat> they're not coming in with anything. They're coming in with bullshit, right? They're not, and it's not making them happy. Whatever they're doing, it's not making them happy. Um, they're just not, they're not offering much here. Okay. Very little. They're offering you bullshit. They're offering you crap. Now in your present energy, we do have the magician. This is Gemini and Aries energy, I believe. And you know, this is about somebody who's trying to create and manifest something. Now it could be with this person, this situation, but it's almost like it's in your own life. You want to manifest something something new right um you know that you're the conscious creator and you know you may be looking for attention from this person especially around christmas time see the little christmas wreath here but you know i look at wands of sexual energy and look they look like little they look like dicks so maybe you want to manifest the attention of somebody new somebody else other admirers you want to be admired and you know that you can create this and manifest it but you want to be the only one on the horse right you don't want other people to like you don't want to be competing with others right you want to win you want to win you want the victory right you want to manifest victory now it could be with this person it could be with somebody else it could be with somebody new really you just want victory and you want attention you want somebody who's going to give you the attention admiration that you deserve that's what you're trying to manifest so that you can have a victory in your own life now the current present energy we do have the seven of pentacles this is about somebody who has been waiting they put in the hard work in a situation and they've just been waiting for something to blossom here now is it going to i don't fucking know but, you know, you're waiting. You're still 
the energy is there that you're still waiting or somebody else is still waiting for something to kind of change, right? Come into this, like, it's going to blossom somehow. Then we do have, in the future present energy, we have Pisces, the moon. So maybe you're dealing with a Pisces. But, you know, secret, this is about this subconscious kind of like, see how the, the, the little, um, oh my God, the lobster is like kind of crawling out of here. This is the, the unconscious, the subconscious secrets coming to light, right? So something may come to light about this person or this situation that affects both of you in the coming future. Again, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, a choice has clearly been made by one or two people, right? Choice has been made, and now you're waiting to see what happens. You don't know what's going to happen in the future. You're kind of just waiting for your ships to come in to see where that choice has gotten you. Twos are choices, right? Threes are the aftermath of the choice to see how it's going to affect you. So that's what's going to happen right now. You're, ch you're seeing what's going to happen with the choice that you made or they made, and they're seeing the same thing. You know, it's all about this choice here. So, let's take this. What I'm going to do is get some messages from them. First, I'm going to get their blocks and fears to see what the hell they're doing. What the hell this person is up to. Why they're acting like a clown. We have compromise. So again, those are their fears or blocks. They may not be willing to compromise with you on anything, right? They may not be able to compromise because they've just got some issues. Um, maybe they're the kind of person that's like my way or the highway, right? It's got to be on their terms all the time. So they're just not able to compromise very well with you. You know, a relationship should be an equal give and take. And if they can't do that, then they've got some problems when it comes to compromise. Then we have lessons. This person may still have some very big life lessons to learn and they haven't learned them yet you know you can't speed up somebody's soul journey right you can't speed up somebody's karma you can't speed anything up it's up to the universe to decide when they learn their lessons and you can't depend on and rely on them learning these lessons anytime soon right you can't get hooked into like this idea where it's like okay maybe they'll maybe they'll come around because they learned this no you can't speed anything up. You can't rush things. You have to just wait and see what happens, which is exactly what you're doing. Or you bounce. You bounce and you try to manifest something for yourself, right? Something new. Then we have devotion. <clears throat> so they may not be able to give you the devotion that you're looking for. Um, you know, this is about somebody devoting their energy and time to you. And if they're not doing that and they can't, they, they can't be devoted, even like loyal, right? Maybe they're, maybe they cheat. Maybe they, you know, find another partner or whatever. And they don't, they don't devote all of their energy and love to you. They have a problem with this, obviously. They have a problem with, you know, giving you the devotion that you deserve. This, again, these are blocks. These are fears. They could be afraid of it too. Then we have self-worth. So this person may be struggling with issues of self-worth, maybe insecurities. Um, you know, maybe they, that's why they need attention from other people or whatever they're doing that's not giving you that devotion. Or they put their attention on other things, situations, addictive behaviors, whatever. Whatever it is, they may, it may be triggering their self-worth issues. Another way to look at this is that, you know, that you may trigger them. It'll come up in the cards that we once we get there. But, you know, whatever it is, the situation may trigger their own issues of self-worth where they feel like they can't do the things that they want you to do um, because they've got their own problems, right? They've got their own issues when it comes to self-worth. And people that do that act in ways that are really unconscious and they're going to do some fucked up shit. <laughs> and then we have the answer is no. So if you have a question, in spe you know, specifically about this person... Uh, in this situation, the answer could be no, right? 
Um, it may just be like the timing right now. It's not going to happen. If you're waiting for, if you're waiting for this person, don't. The answer is no. They may not be able to change and devote this time and energy to you, right? Uh, at least not right away. What you want to do is focus on yourself. Focus on manifesting this, the, the you know, the victory um, for yourself, not for this person. I'm going to get some messages from them to see what they may be thinking. Shuffle. Go to the cards, falling down. So we have you intimidate me. So, like I said, self worth issues, right? Um, this goes right into that. You may, they may find you intimidating. Um, maybe you're just a very dominant energy. Maybe they feel like they're not good enough for you. Whatever it is, you intimidate them. Are they going to tell you that? I don't know. I don't think so, because. Who's going to tell you you intimidate them? However, they have not forgotten you. It's not like they just sort of like bounced to whatever it is that they did or wherever they are now and they've forgotten all about you. That is not the case. They definitely have not forgotten you. <clears throat> I still fantasize about you. So yeah, clearly they haven't forgotten about you. Um, they're definitely thinking about you in you know, a sexual way or even a romantic way, but you know, they're thinking about it. Does this mean that they're gonna do anything about it? Not necessarily, but I really wish I could tell you how I really feel about you. So, you know, they probably do care. They probably do really, really care about you. They probably love you. Who knows? But whatever it is that they feel, they can't tell you. They don't have the balls to do it. They're just, they're scared, right? Um, because if somebody tells you something and they have issues with like devoting themselves to you or devotion, then they have to actually follow up on what they say and for a lot of people that's not easy I think I still think about our last night together so you know if you guys were together in the past you know a month ago a week ago a day ago whatever a year ago they still think about it they still think about the last night that they had with you you know, it's not like they just, like I said, they didn't completely forget about you. They still think about these things. They, they think about them often. We have the five of swords okay so these are going to be the sexual how they feel about you sexually right so the five of swords is in the regular uh, tarot the rider weight it's you know someone who's walking away but this is different this is about shaking things up you must overcome the fear of judgment shame and sense of inadequacy and you must give yourself a good shake and take some risks again you intimidate me right fear of an fear of inadequacy they they literally may feel that you are too good for them right like that you are just too intimidating for them um and they may feel like insecure basically insecure about it um and when they're with you sometimes they may think about this okay because you're probably very, maybe you're a confident person with your body. Maybe you're confident in you know, the bedroom, whatever. Or maybe you're just confident. But something about that intimidates them. Then we have the, pa the Knave of Swords. This is the Page of Swords. This is about communication, usually. 
Um, but for this, this is about biting, right? Enemies of the couple are both inside and outside of it. They should look at each other. Vigilance does not distract from pleasure, and pleasure does not distract from vigilance. So, this is about them focusing on you. Like I said, it may have been a problem before with the devotion card that already came up. Um, they want to focus solely on you. Can they, though? Can they? <laughs> Uh, it's about what people are consciously aware of their doing. Like if they're consciously aware of what they're doing, yes, they can make changes. But someone who's not conscious, you know, but they do want to just have you. They do want to just focus on you. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they're actually going to be able to do it, depending on their level of consciousness. Everybody acts and treats you depending on their level of consciousness. It never really has anything to do with you. It's all about them. So you can't judge yourself. <clears throat> we have the Ace of Chalices. This is usually a new start in love, right? So they may want a new start with you. They may want to come forward. They want to like, you know, be with you again. Start this up. Um, it's about ecstasy. Loving magic crowned by success, satisfaction, festivities. Good reasons to be happy and in love. So, you know, they may want a new start with you so that they can experience this happy, like, high of being in love with you again right um so you know they're not telling you this this is what they're thinking you're thinking about that good that, that good stuff that you're giving them <laughs> um and they probably miss it right i want to start fresh thinking you know, that maybe sex alone will rekindle things and make things okay. But it doesn't. Nine of chalices. This is, so, we got two nine of cups here. Came up again in the reading. Like I said, it's a wish fulfillment card. Now, here though, it's about euphoria. Uh, the light of the lantern ensures the triumph of love, overwhelms the senses, and dispels rivals and hesitations. So, this, yeah, like I said, maybe whatever they're doing right now with whomever is not giving them happiness, right? With you, it did. Okay? With you, it does. This is upright. So, you know, um, being able to triumph here is what they want. But again, it, do, it doesn't necessarily mean that they can do it, depending on their level of consciousness. Um, but whoever they're with now, whatever they're doing, it's not giving them that happy feeling of, um, it's not the wish fulfillment. But with you, it is the wish fulfillment. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Now, you see this guy? He's like watching her in the mirror or watching her from afar. They may be watching you, you know, seeing you kind of come into your power. However, okay, look at her foot. Her foot's all fucked up. So there's something off here, right? Um, completeness. You cannot give up on transforming. The, this is not completeness. I'm sorry. This is boredom. There are loves of the past and loves of the future. There's only one love today, and it must not be neglected. So, you know, they may be in this space where, you know, they want you today. However, this is more about you loving yourself and, and like, taking care of yourself. Look, like I said, her foot's all fucked up. You have to take care of yourself in all aspects, right? This is the love of today. They may be the love of the past, but the love of today right now is you. And they need to see you come into your full power and really taking care of yourself in all ways. Health, spirituality, you know, the physical, the mental, financial, what have you. You have to take care of yourself, okay? And maybe they see that you're starting to do that and they're looking in, right? So, these are the love and sex cards. And now what we're going to do is pull... Some additional oracles. Okay. These are going to be messages for you. 
All right, these are messages for you. Just things about the situation and your life that you really need to, you know, that may be affecting the energy. Energy's coming up. Potential future energies. Whatever. We'll see. <laughs> see how it works out. So we have easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. So if you've been trying to control the outcome of the situation or control this person, stop. Just stop. <laughs> because obviously they've got some issues that they need to work on. So just stop. Don't try to control everything because honestly, once you let go of the outcome, everything starts to flow towards you. It, it, that's just the law of attraction. That's just the way it works. Law of attraction 101. You have to detach from the outcome. Stop trying to control. Pull your energy away. And back on yourself. Stop trying to control it. Because then you'll get more of it. You know, more of a lack of control. Then we have everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. So, you know, you may have been feeling like things are all fucked up. The situation has, like, turned you on your head um, and had fear about the future and what was going to happen. That's not the case. Everything's okay, and this is all part of the plan, right? This is all working out in your favor. Um, things are going to work out just perfectly, but you have to trust that. You have to stop, you know, giving up. You have to give up that control. Then we have holiday. The answer you're looking for can be found... During a vacation, retreat, or holiday getaway. So, if you're going to be traveling for the holidays, maybe with family, um, or if you're, you know, maybe going on a vacation or a retreat, maybe you'll be able to get some clarity, do some meditation, get some insight from friends and family. But, you know, you're going to get answers very soon because the holidays are coming up. We've got Thanksgiving this week, and we've got Christmas, um, you know, Hanukkah, whatever your religion is, but they're all coming up very soon. So, Start looking towards these holidays and maybe you'll get some more answers if you're stuck. Okay. Now we're going to get a block. Let's get some of the fears here. Blocks. These cards are very slippery. going to be one of your blocks that you need to realize here. Hearth. Happiness in our hearts and homes. So start cultivating, you know, your own abundance, your own happiness, your own... Work on your... Like I said, you know, work on taking care of yourself. Take care of your home. Get your home in order, right? Because this is going to ca carry over to all aspects of your life. So you want to get like, you know, everything, you want to get everything streamlined. You want to get that so that you can ha find happiness in everything else, right? If you're happy in your home. You're happy with yourself. You're happy with everything that's going on around you. This bullshit that this person's put you through, not going to make a difference. You're going to be happy. You got to focus on that, right? You got to focus on getting your own life together. Um... And, you know, happiness starts within. This is what this is saying. Happiness starts with you, within. So, inside the home, right? You have to cultivate that happiness on your own so that you can find it with others. I always say, quote RuPaul, but, you know, if you can't love somebody. If you can't love yourself, how, how is anyone else going to love you, right? That really didn't come out as eloquent as RuPaul, but whatever. So, um... I'm going to get one final message here from the Moonology Oracles just to see some future energies. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Yeah, get your home in order. Start meditating. Meditate, 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 meditate. This really helps so much to release stress, anxiety. Um, and also, the more you stay present and detached from the outcome, guess what? Everything flows towards you in a way that you would never expect. So you want to balance the spirituality in your practice, right? 
with practicality and practicality in the sense that you're not still allowing this, you know, behavior on this set end, right. On this per- by this person, you have to be practical about it. Right. What are your needs? What are your wants? How do you want to create this life where you get all this, you know, admir- where you have the victory balance out meditation and the practical side of your life too, right? Get your house in order, get your finances in order, get your shit together focus on you take care of yourself right i don't even know where that card went i'm gonna take care of yourself in all ways so you don't have this one wonky ass foot right (laughs) you want to be a full you you already are complete right but you know embrace it embody it get your shit together work on your finances work on your career uh focus on that focus on your health focus on your spirituality don't focus on this person basically what this is saying so um anyway taurus that is your mid-november reading and i hope it resonated if it does feel free to like share and subscribe and um i will see you at the end of the month